Hi everybody, it's Cindy. Let's wait and see if anybody shows up. We'll go ahead and type our hi message. So I'm going to wait just a few minutes, see if anybody's coming. While I'm doing that, I'm going to practice screen sharing. Oh, that's not what I want to do. This is screen share. Oh. Oh, there I am. Anybody here? Oh, somebody's here. I'm sorry. I'm practicing uh, what I'm trying to learn how to share. Oh, here. Oh, yeah, reverb. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, so let's see. Okay, I'm not smart enough to figure this out. Let's see. If I do this like this, if I open this, open it like that. Okay. Is that me? Oh, hi, Iona, Iona or Iona. Is that right? Did I say it right? There. Okay. I'm looking to see this here. Okay. Can y'all hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Trying to screen share and cancel. Okay, I'm having a little bit of trouble here, and I'm not sure why. Okay, I think I'm here, and I am there. Francis. Okay. This may be crazy. Uh, let's see here. This is why is it this showing? Chat here. I don't know what I need to do. I need this one here. If I can get this one here. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to. You can see and hear me. So, okay. Um, let me. Maybe this. I'm still trying to make this one of these smaller. And. Do that.
there. No, it, no, is my screen dark? Did it show? Am I, what happened? Did something happen? I've got two screens here and I can't figure out how to merge them. There. Okay, maybe this will work like this. Yeah, maybe I can do this like this. So, I'm going to try this like this and we'll see how this works. So, I'm going to start with a haul from Anita Fanita. And still good for you guys. You can hear and everything. And these are some things that I got from Anita. Um, is that still good for you, Francis? So, I don't recognize that mark. It's D O N something. Anyway, it's a little angel pen. Can you see that okay? If you can't see that, let me know. There you go. Um, sweet little angel pen. These were some of the uh, thank you gifts that she sent. Look at these. This. The pair of metal combs. Pair of combs. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Metal combs. So, so that little angel is cute, isn't it? Look at this. Look at this box. This box is really pretty. I'm fixing to slide it over here to put everything in. So that make sure I've got mine there on that so I can get to all of it so anyway okay that was a thank you gift and I want to do this and then this must have been part of a thank you gift too because I don't remember purchasing these and they are a bunch of little plastic uh, Christmas pens and some of them are signed uh, Hallmark and one of them even is signed Avon. They're really sweet. Oops. Did I, maybe I'll show that to you guys backwards. That one there. Is, there. Santa Claus. His little face is not very shiny. And then this one here is the one. Yeah, this one here is the one that signed Avon. So I'm trying to make it sure I'm getting up on up. So aren't they cute? Yes, these come from Anita Fanita. So, um, this is basically the lot that I bought. And uh, she wraps all of her little things in tissue paper. And they're very sweet. And uh, I've, already, I've already got one piece of this sold. So, but this right here. And if I wanted to sell this piece right here, I could easily sell this piece. Um girl that wants the um, uh, skull ring that I'm going to show you. She wants this piece too. But I think I want to keep this piece. Let's see. Yeah. Anita is really sweet and she always sends really nice gifts. So there. Let's see. You see, I, I love to put things over my head. So anyway. So let me just show you the other pieces that came. So I bought a sterling silver lot and these little earrings were in it. They're just little bitty bitty earrings. And um, this sterling silver ring here was in it. And I wish it was just a little bit bigger. It's just a little too small for my, for my ring finger. So... Anyway, it probably would fit my wedding ring finger. Yeah, it fits over here. But uh, I always just wear my wedding rings there. So. And um, this right here is the skull ring. What's funny, my friend, she loves skull stuff. And uh, and uh, she's like, you never get skulls. And then I took these down there and opened them down at the store with her. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I'll keep an eye out for skulls. And anyway, and then we opened and she, she's like, look, it, it's a skull. I can't believe it's a skull. She was so excited. So this is a skull ring and I've then sold it for $10. So I paid $39 for the whole lot. 
Um, this is a sterling silver chain, just a little bitty chain. And this is, I'm not real sure what this is. I think it's a ring that goes on a chain. Yeah, a chain goes through these two little hoops here and then it holds down and then you put your glasses on it and it's a 925 chain. Now this is a 925 ring and it looks like I paid, hi, hi Ray, I just got started. It was actually three lots. They were three of Anita's $13 lots and I paid $39 for it, but she, and she does free shipping. So it was just $39 across the board. I've done sold that one ring for $10. So I've got it nearly paid for. <laughs> Oh, but my problem is I want to keep too much. Did you see this necklace, Ray? Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? So, anyway. So, this here is gorgeous. Let me, I think it'll go on. Yeah, it'll go on my wedding band finger. So, I hope y'all can see the color of that really well. It is like malachite. Is what it looks like to me. So, anyway. Well, I can't now watch me not being able to get off of this. So, I know my friend, Ber my friend, her name is Bernita, but we call her Bernie. Anyway, she wants it. So, I'm going to probably wear it for a while, then I'll let her go. I'm trying to get this closer so you can see the stone in this. This is sterling silver. And I will probably more than likely list this for $19.99. I need to, uh, Get a ring sizer there. That's good. Ooh, my nails are gross. I cut them way back. This I bought all of this basically for this and and uh, this right here. Is that not pretty? I don't know that it's coral. Uh, it's pretty. So uh, anyway, I'm going to. I don't think it's. It may be silver. If it is, it really needs cleaned up really well. There is a little stamp here in the corner. I'm gonna get it up just a little bit closer to the screen. It looks. It doesn't look like coral. It really looks like it's probably either red turquoise or dyed halite. My guess would be dyed halite, but it's really pretty. And I bought this ring just for that, and I will keep it for a while until I get tired of wearing it. So. Anyway, let me take this off because if I keep this, it'll have to go on a longer chain. So, anyway, I want to get this up closer there so we can see it there. Is that not gorgeous? The colors in it, they're just unreal how pretty that color is. It's a purple with a, it's just, it's just gorgeous. So, Anyway, so this next lot is a lot that comes from one of the buyers that I buy from all the time. And I'm actually going to lay this over like that so that I don't mix them together. And I will pick him back up and put in his. So, so this is a lot I've bought from this man. I want to say I have bought six, maybe, oh, maybe just four lots from him. And the first two lots I bought from my found gold in. The last two lots, including this lot, uh, have not been near as nice as what the first two were. And so, um, and anyway, I look like, am I cutting off my head? Do I need to fix, adjust my screen there? Maybe I'm cutting my head off a little bit. There we go. Anyway, so these last two but this one I paid I won the auction it was auction and I don't, I don't like doing auction. I paid six dollars and fifty cents for it and then seven twenty to ship it so it was thirteen eighty total so I will easily make my money back because there are some very very old brooches in here some very old ones that I will ask probably fifteen dollars a piece for when I get ready to let them go but y'all know me. It takes me a while to let go. This one here is one of the really old ones. And it is really, really grody. That, that there's little pearls down in there that simulate flowers. And they're just nasty. I mean, it's like nasty, nasty. And uh, so I will have to work on it. 
and normally I just leave my jewelry like it is, but yeah, it has to be worked on. Let's see. This is a nice little gold tone bracelet. This one here is a stretchy bracelet. Uh, this one here is my favorite piece. And now that I'm looking at this upside down, <laughs> let me get that out. It's actually a horseshoe with a sprig of flowers on it. And it is really old. It has the, you can tell the thing is mint, but it has a C clasp. And I, I really need to work on, I need to get my um, needle nose out and work and straighten that up a little bit. But it's very old. Very old. Yeah, the, that pin was really gross down inside of it. So, uh, uh, but this is a very old piece. And if I can bear to part with it, I will list it for at least $15. At least. So, anyway, this watch, and y'all know I don't like watches, but this watch is so cool. I won't wear it, but it, it is really cool. It is, uh, I think. It said GB on it. I don't know what GB stands for, but it's got a piece of abalone. It's got a um, little cameo. It's got little coin things, little coins and marks and all kinds of little doodahs on it. And it's really a nice watch, but it'll go in a lot. So it'll go in a lot with, with that. And I don't know if it's going to let me do it. I had pulled up my new bargain boxes that I have listed to show you, but I don't think it's going to let me show them. So we'll see. And this is um, a sweater clip or a collar clip. You can clip it here and it goes across. So, and of course it's vintage probably. So I'm going to get these out of the way because there's two sets of these and I don't do nothing with that kind of stuff, but Anyway, let's see where is there's one more. I don't know. I don't see it right off the top of the top of the top of my hat. But these are and they're they're cool. And they say DP on the back of them, but they're that snap jewelry that snaps onto things. And there's another one like this little one. There's two of each of them. There's this one and then the big one. And there's two of each of them, but I'm um, just not zeroing in on that second little one. So, anyway, here is another watch. This bracelet is cool. It's got those magnets in the side of it, and it's copper. And that may be a silver, a little bit of silver braid in it, but it's mainly copper. Dave, I'm doing the video. We can hear you. Dave's in there singing. So, anyway. So, excuse me, I've got to have water. See my mug? It says Gigi. That's what all my children's church kids call me. I'm Gigi. I'm their god grandma. So, but a lot of my children's church kids are my godchildren's kids. So, I am their god grandma. So, Anyway, that's just a stretchy bracelet, but I love the greens in it, and that is my birthstone, so I may have to keep it and wear it at least through August, don't you think? Um, this one here is just a really long, well, no, not real long. It's a bead, gold bead. These were very popular when I was in high school in the 80s, so... Uh, I had I had several of them. I had some that were real gold, and then this is a little heart, floating heart with a little rhinestone in it. It's just trash. It really is just trash. So, and I'm trying to sort around the pieces that are just oh, that are really unique, and then there's just some that are just trash. These here are very unique. They're very old, and they are. Um, Either shoe clips, and I'm trying to get that, shoe clips or sweater clips or maybe even fur clips, but I don't think they're fur clips because I don't think the teeth are long enough for fur. So they're more than likely shoe clips. See, this makes no sense to me. Why would you want to ruin your shoes putting this sharp thing on it? 
So I would put it on a sweater myself. Collar clips, they could even be collar clips. So anyway, those are very cool. I'm trying to make sure. Oops. Oh, glitter. That is a uh, that is a good southern word, glitter. Yeah. Well, I sell that trash cart. Oh, that little, that little, uh, more than likely that trash heart will go onto the, uh, dollar board at my flea market. I have, you know, I told y'all I have jewelry, I sell jewelry and, uh, I, uh, uh, I have a board of dollar jewelry and more than likely that will go on my dollar board. So these are cool and, um, oops, hold on just a second. My, I'm crowded here, and my thing doesn't want it there. Okay, here, because I need to do that. Okay, so these here are neat. They're glove, glove clips, and um, they have a place for a chain right here, but they come off of the chain, and so, but they're, but I thought it was really cool that they are hands. That they are hands and they show gloves. I thought that was neat. So I love old stuff. I do. Uh, this is has no mate. It's just a bunch of little rhinestone colored beads on a hoopy hoop. It has no mate. Oh, there's that other snap. It was upside down. That's why I couldn't see it. This is a scarf clip. Just a pearly scarf clip. And I'm thinking about making a whole bag of these and making a lot. <laughs> so, because I have a bunch of them. This is a little angel bracelet. And he more than likely will go in one of my bargain boxes. He's got a uh, he. Well, really, it's she. They're little angels. They've got rhinestones on them, and I don't see any missing on them. I looked at it pretty close while I go, so I didn't see any missing. This is a nice Monet chain. It has the Monet tag on it. I think they said that's what it said. Got Monet. So just a nice Monet chain. The the glove clips. Um. If you find the right buyer, you know, pe there are people who, as Margaret says, there are people who collect everything. So if you find the right buyer, yeah, you can sell it. Uh, it might sit a while, but uh, uh, it's not going to be, you know, I tell people this over and over and over. And uh, because some people might see somebody do something really fast, flip something really fast. They think that jewelry is a thick, quick sale and it's not. Jewelry is not a quick sale. I have things sitting in my shop that have been there for a year. Uh, I mess with my prices and sometimes they sell. Um, two weeks ago, I sold a Sorelli necklace. That Sorelli necklace had been in my shop for almost a year. That Sorelli necklace is still on the Sorelli.com website for $145. I started it out at $99. And ended up taking a best offer of seventy dollars on it, but it had been there for a year. So, if you're needing fast money, the way to do that is to try to find gold to sell it. But uh, if you're just love jewelry and don't mind sitting on it, this is a little locket, and it, I don't know if it's going to show on the thing. It is praying hands, and it's really cute and. It has nothing on the inside of it. How much does it cost me to list? Listen, I do a store. I have a store, um, and I do the. I have this. No, I don't think I have the. I have the two hundred and fifty listing store, and it's twenty seven ninety seven a month. So, anyway. And then this is another locket, and it's really pretty. It's even pretty on the inside. You can see the imprint on the inside. So 
it's really pretty. I wouldn't even want to put anything in it. So, but uh, I love lockets. Um, I'm just pulling things out. Okay, I don't know if this is going to show on the thing, and I've got to get this out of here. It's got verdigris on the back of it, so it's got to be soaked. But this is a single earring, and I'm trying to get it really close to the camera. And it's in intaglio, the reverse cameo carved cameo, set in black. Uh, and the the carving is lighter, and um, it is just a single clip on earring. I will be I will get that cleaned up, and it will be going with my personal collections. Yes, you get 250 listings. Uh, you get um, a break on some of your fees and stuff like that. You also get your break on shipping. Uh, so yeah, twenty seven ninety seven. So right now my store is sitting at two hundred listings. I always have fifty listings just about to play with. So um, anyway, I I have and also here is something that's good to know if you have something like I have a whole bunch of Swarovski earrings that are um, all just alike. And so if I list it once and put a quantity of so many, then the that only counts as one listing, although I have 10 items. So I have 10 ear, pairs of earrings just a lot. The sh I see, I guess because I have lived off and sent things a lot, shipping doesn't bother me. Shipping was the, my, the least of my worries. My... Uh, what worries me is selling something that costs a whole lot and somebody uh, wanting their money back or somebody duping me. <laughs> so, anyway, another nice, really nice sweater scarf clip, not sweater. I call them sweater clips. You can, you could clip it on a sweater or a piece of, but it's for a scarf to go through, clip a scarf. And then there's a lot of little pins and brooches in here that are um let's see that are what that are i guess no here's i was gonna say i knew there was another one i don't know what that says oh i do know what that says i think it says 100 and it's got a golf club on it so I might do a golf lot pin. This one here is 1986, and I will sell this because this is the 10th International Rally Ride with Pride International Northeast Harley Davidson Touring Association, Carlisle, Pennsylvania. So anyway, that's a pin, and this one here is Harley Davidson. International 20 Northeastern Incorporated. And so I will put these two Harley pins together and I will sell them. And I will probably sell them for um, probably list them for like $14.99, $15.99, maybe more. I'll have to do some comps on it. Harley stuff sells. So, yeah, Harley stuff sells. This little brooch is. I don't think it's old, but it's cool. Yeah, hugely collectible. Uh, it is somebody's put hot glue on the back of it, so or what looks like hot glue, and it says Taiwan, but it has just a C class. But I do not believe that it's old. So, and you know that's one of the things as as I've been working with this jewelry and doing jewelry, I learn more every day about it. And um, there, you just start to feel when when you feel of things, you start knowing. Okay, that's old. That's not old. This and and it's. Ha, have you ever heard about how when when they train people to work in banks, the way that they treat them, teach them to recognize counterfeit money is to teach them to know over know know that they know that they know what real money is. So uh, when you know what the real good stuff is, then you start knowing what the really crappy stuff is. And when you start collecting the old stuff, you start knowing. This is older, but it's not just hugely old. It's probably from the 60s and 70s. It's just a leaf brooch. 
nothing spectacular, no signature, um, but it's still old enough to be called vintage. Now, this is cool, but there's only one of them. Oh, this here was one of my favorite little items in here, and it's teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, and let's see if we can get it all the way up there. It is a little bitty brooch, and it's a spinning wheel, and I've got it upside down. It upside down. It's a spinning wheel. Let's see if I can get it there. Now, maybe I have it right side up there. There, there we go. No, nope, I turned it upside down again. There, I've got it right now. So, anyway, and it's cute as a button. This, let's see. Let me see it. I just seen it just a minute ago. There it is. Okay, this is kind of cool. It's just a pendant, and it's clear, and it's got a mustard seed in it. And then on the back of it, it has, it says mustard seed, and then it has, I believe what is, let's see here, it's not thing. I believe it says the Bible verse that talks about the mustard seed. Yeah, and you shall have faith as a grain of mustard seed. So, anyway, and so that's kind of cool. So it teachers neat this one here oh this is a really really long necklace and it's got a lot of blingy to this uh, that's I mean it's the, the necklace you can't even I'm off screen but here let's see if I drape it like that if it'll show it, it's just so long it's well Okay, the necklace part of it's 36 inches long. So, and then it's got that little blingy. All the rhinestones and none of them are missing. So, it'll go in probably one of my bargain boxes. Um, there is tons and tons of stuff in this. I can dig all day. Is that? Oh, here's another teacher thing. This one here says higher powered and it is a pin back and it's missing its back and several of them are pin backs that are missing their backs. This one here is a flag and it's missing its back and this is a nice flag and uh, so I call them pin backs. Um, some of them call them tack pins. This is the breast cancer awareness and it's an Avon piece. That's, uh, here's another watch and this one is, you know what? I mean, no, this one is a Timex watch. Um, here is a cross ring. That is just what I call junk jewelry, little rhinestone cross ring, and it'll go in the dollar section. This is really pretty. It's a little um, closing-a pendant, and I include pendants in my dollar thing. If you've not seen my dollar lots, I have, I mean, my $15 lots, I have them up. I have four of them up. I'm trying to get up one a day, and uh, I don't think any of that has this is just a, um, it looks silver, but it, it, the wearing, it's wore down to the copper. So this is like a dream catcher uh, key ring. So, oh, I showed that. Let's see. Uh, this is a Niagara Falls. That might sell. The, and I don't think I showed this. This is the Big Apple New York pen. And so those could actually go to, together because they're both New York. Uh, what's this one? This one is an I Love You pen. More. Uh, this one is I Love Golf. So that could go with that golf pen that I had over there a while ago. So I could put them together. So, just the I love you pen. This is cool. It's highly magnetic. This is just a little chain bracelet. Uh, nothing spectacular. But this is neat. 
Um, they're little links, little curved links. And then they have these little gold balls hanging off of them. And it's really neat. No signature. And it has a lobster claw. So probably not too vintage if it is vintage at all. Probably 90s. So anyway, this piece right here is really pretty too. And it's just a really long chain. And it's got these, see these metal dots in it. I don't know can you see that the metal dots the metal solid metal anyway it has a hang tag on it that says it has a backwards b and an r i've not looked any of this up so i don't have a clue what any of it is that's a broken tie clip this is a tie bar just it just goes I'm not real sure how it works but i've seen them before anyway this is oh I don't know what that says. It looks like initials. I can't tell. If you can tell, your eyes are better. Hi, Debs. Uh, what look like? The, just that little bracelet. Um, uh, this is a hammered earring. There's a lot of heart, just single little pieces. This is a little teddy bear pendant. The curved links, yeah. But it's way too big for an ankle, the curved links. I mean, it's... It's 14 inches, so it's way too big for the curve for an ankle. So, anyway... Uh, Another, oh, that's pretty. I don't think I saw that. That's enamel. Uh, it's a tack pin. Uh, so it's really pretty. Um, an angel pin. An angel pin. A box wouldn't be a box without an angel pin. I was really sad that this didn't have the match. I'm just scooting around to make sure the match is not in there. But I don't see it anywhere. But it made me very sad that the match was not in it for it. And um, I don't know if you can see it. Let me make sure I've got, got it straight there. I got it straight now. Okay. Sorry about that. It's a dolphin earring. And the head sits on your ear and the tail goes behind. You pull it out and the tail goes behind like that. And it's so cute, but there was only one of them that made me sad. Here's another angel tack pin. This is a purple ribbon tack pin. And if I'm not mistaken, the purple ribbon is for mental illness. Is that correct? I think that's right. This is cute. A little four leaf clover, four leaf clover brooch. These are cute. You see them a lot. It is little metal rose earrings. They're just a little bitty, teeny tiny. I'm just laying all this stuff on my. Oh. Trying to make sure that I'm not. Oh, yay. There's a pair of those. Those were really cute. A uh, pair of clip on earrings. Those are really nice. So $13.20 for this box, and that is counting the shipping. I will, I mean, I easily will make my money back on it. But uh, um, you know, when you when you get something really good one time from somebody, and this is different. I mean, I really thought that this was an earring. Okay, what looks like your Monet Pro class? Those earrings. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, so, but uh, um, this is a pearl tack pin, and it is a tack pin. It's got the pointy edge, but it is different. So, I'm not rubbing that across my teeth. Oh, here's another. Oh, isn't that sweet? I missed that before. It's another little dove pin. 
it's just a little brooch it has the little pin on it it's not pinned back it's it's got the brooch back so anyway um oh i loved these and they are a pair they're they're banded together they're little uh yellow flowers i keep trying to make sure i'm up high enough they're banded together there those are adorable i like those so anyhow or what you are just little bits and pieces so i'm going to throw let's see i'm going to throw i'm going to throw it all under the bus no i'm not i'm looking to see because i've laid stuff out here to make sure that i'm not missing any matches that are matches <laughs> yeah missing any matches that are matches that made a lot of sense so i don't see anything that is a match to anything laying out here oh here's a oops here's a matching pair of earrings little bitty gold half hoops here is another rope bracelet a um cross pendant hit it up there cindy uh crown trafari you get better prices for crown trafari than you can for uh, Mo uh for monet yeah you can get better process for crown trafari than you can monet so um i keep looking in here uh this little thing oh look here they're a match what do they say on them let's see what it says on them yeah. I lay things down. My desk is a mess. My room is a mess. Well, it just says patent pending. Oh, oops. oops. This is patent pending. So, actually, the uh, little tack pin has a matching tie bar. So, I'll sell them as a set. And because men's jewelry sells a little bit more than women's jewelry, I'll probably sell those for twelve ninety nine. So that'll almost pay for the box, won't it? So anyway, so okay, that was a matching set. That was good. I'm trying to make sure everything that's good is in the box. So in the right box. So anyhow, so um matches. Because I'm going to rake all this other into a box and I'm going to show you. Lay that over there. Uh, if it's a keychain, it goes over here. And my mom collects keychains. So, anyway. Oh, that was cute. Little tractor pin. Definitely will sell. Tractor pin. You had a patent pendant piece and it tested as a. As, I'll go through here with my magnet later and check and see if any of this is is gold there are a few pieces that make me go hmm what is that uh when they have as margaret says when they have uh gold backs and gold front oh here's another tie bar and that goes my phone dinging at me so so anyway i'm going to um putting all this in here And I'm going to show you. I'm going to tip the box up and show you. These are all the single pieces. And oh, this was in there. And they're hair pins. But this one here has been twisted around and they've got these little pearls on them. And I don't know what about them. I don't know what about them. So, you know, that, that don't go there. Okay, that, and that, and that. Those go in this. That goes there. And I'm just looking at my stuff. And y'all know what? I bought some froggies today online. Some little froggies. I can't wait for them to come. Y'all know I love my frogs. So, and I'm not, I'm not a, I said I'm not superstitious to somebody on the group not too long ago. But I'm not. But a lot of people think there are evil things behind frogs. And I think that's a 
a little ridiculous. So can you see down in the box? I don't want to dump it. There goes something. But all this little scribble scrabble, to quote one of my favorite YouTubers, is uh is just unmatched junk pieces. So I love frogs and I love bling. I like my frogs to bling. And these these frogs were these frogs that I bought today was off of a, a, a lady's YouTube video and uh um they are green rhinestone frogs sitting on a branch. So and I don't like watches. You're right. I do not like watches. So anyway, so um hold just hold tight just a minute. Let me just pop up. I'm doing this different than I normally do and it's not showing me. So okay. There we'll just go back here and like that. Okay, I'm back. I do love frogs. I like I like um, turtles too. I love turtles. In fact, um, I think I don't know that I've talked about this, but I wrote in 2014. Yeah, 2014. I has it really been four years ago? I wrote a book about a turtle and a dragonfly. It's a kids' book, and it's Trevor Turtle. It's called the Trevor Turtle Par uh, Parables. And um, anyway, and they, uh, yeah, they say that about Opal being a bad luck stone. So uh, anyway, but uh, uh, gosh, look at that flip when I turn my head. That's that is ridiculous. I've got to go get a haircut and get that thing cut off of there. So so, but uh, I wrote this book and it's about Trevor Turtle and it's about Diana. And um, Diana the dragonfly wants to be a butterfly, and so Trevor Turtle treats, teaches her that she is fearfully and wonderfully made, just like God wanted her to be, and she shouldn't wish to be something that she's not. Anyway, and so um, I love turtles. I do, and so this is my turtle. You like? I like opals. I have several opal pieces. In fact, I have a really nice opal set in. On listed that I've had listed for over a year and it sits and I've I've lowered the price I've raised the price I've lowered it so I'm going to show you all some things as I've been sorting through my jewelry um, to put uh, lots up I'm finding that I have stuck things in bags and labeled on labeled on 925 silver so I made a design that sells well with the turtle on a hill and a lady. Oh, that's cute. That's I bet that's pretty. That Reed, do you do graphic design? I uh, um let me tell you about the the guy that illustrated my book. It, he's local. He's a local guy. He's from Cabot, which we've we've talked about Cabot quite often because Darlene comes in. She she uh. She's from Cabot. Anyway, so this guy, he drew rough pictures just on little pieces of paper. And then he, and I'm looking down here because I've got a knot in this and I hate knots. Anyway, and then he took a picture and then he painted it all on his iPhone. And he's able to add glitter and stuff to my dragonfly wings. And they are beautiful pictures. So... Uh, Oh, oh, yeah. I have too bad you don't live nearby. I have lots and lots and lots of art supplies because I'm kind of artsy fartsy. I love, I've painted and drawn and stuff like that. I just didn't have, I'm not good enough to do my own stuff. But anyway, I do a lot of crafts. So anyway, but uh, okay, that would be cool. I would love to see that. So anyway, I'm trying to, I've managed to get a knot in this. Anyway, this is a piece of 925 that I found when I was going through things, separating it out for my bargain boxes. And it is a abalone shell. And I hope that is showing. And it is so pretty. So, they are beautiful. The, the pictures in that book are absolutely beautiful. And then this is really cool and I don't like the piece of leather that it's on and I have some new leather so I might put some new leather on it this is a little silver angel 
and she says Mexico and there's a name and I'll have to research her and it says 925 on it too. It's real what I call whimsical or folksy, real folksy. So, and then this little piece here is just adorable. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm going to top it. The name of the book is Diana's Wings. There you go. Name of the book is Diana's Wings, and it's uh, it's for sale on Amazon. So, okay. Oops. Here, I need this popped back up. Okay, pop that back up. Pop it back up. There we go. And then this is a little uh, turquoise cross on that side, and it's turquoise chips. And then on the back side is red, probably red coral chips or maybe red turquoise chips. And it is 925 also. And so I'm waiting for the right chain to float into my life on that one. And um, those will probably get listed eventually. So eventually. So anyway, yeah, it's on Amazon. It's called Diana's Wings. And it's um, my last name is Lovin, L-O-V-E-N. So and when I first started doing the videos, my my YouTube channel was Cindy Lovin, and then I decided I wanted to uh, uh, change it to Cindy Loves Jewelry because sometimes people come along and say things that are not nice. I've heard many a naughty joke about my last name, and so uh, I changed it, and this right here is going to drive me crazy. I'll work, be working on that knot. So... Anyway, but I just wanted to share that. That all came today. And, um, uh, so, I have been working in the Christian publishing world as a reviewer for the past 10 years. And, um, I, um, reviewed for 10 years, for nine years and then my best friend uh she lives in northeast arkansas she is an author and she's written over 20 amish books she writes amish series her family was amish years ago before they left the faith and so um she and i collabed and did a um a uh, series about a quilt i designed a quilt i made a quilt and gave away a quilt that went with it but i wrote the story line by around the quilt and the grandmother and granddaughters and the name of that is um swept away and it's a quilt of quilts of love series and yes i made uh, one of my videos was a book trailer for her um, i i have made book trailers um for uh her and for um the author that I work for. I work for another author. Her name is June Foster. She writes Christian inspiration fiction and uh, I am her virtual assistant. I work at two hours of the week for her doing all of her virtual promotion. I do all of her online promoting and so um, I've done that. I've worked with a lot of different authors, made friends with a lot of different authors and I love the author world the author world, the uh, world of writing and stuff. And I have a lot of friends that's written a lot of books. And um, I love, I say I love to read, but right now my attention is not good to read. So anyway, so before we go, I want to show y'all something that I think is really, really pretty that I found in a jar that is broke. And I want to ask your opinion. Okay. First of all, they're old. So any alteration that I'll do, I'll have to disclose to do them. But these are some earrings. And um, the uh, back of them, they, backs of them were broke off. One of them was broke completely off. And one of them was bent real bad. And when I tried to straighten it off, up it came off. So anyway... 
you know what uh, maybe I'm just ADD and can't settle on one thing so yeah you guys leave a thumbs up that that's probably it but anyway but uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna get one of those big circle backs and uh, maybe have uh, somebody solder it on the back of it for me are they not gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous I leave them laying here so I can look at them every day too so, uh, the jewelry makes me happy it makes me it just makes me happy and and I can't explain why that is but I'm sure you guys get it um, so oh great for crafts see I have trouble now I couldn't take that apart I, I, I just couldn't take that one apart but I keep this here is a jar of all the rhinestone stuff begin and harvest out of and take apart I don't have trouble harvesting out of that this here is the jar of non rhinestone stuff more like beads and there's a few rhinestone things in here but beads and and chains bits and pieces of chains so yeah I save all of that so you know what I know wear a whole lot of rings oh but that would be pretty oh hold on hold on hold on let me stand up for just a second and reach okay so let me just I'm reaching for something back here I have something back here I'm back so sorry so, oh no I wear jewelry one of these days I'm gonna take my phone and go in my room and do a live YouTube video in my room I my my I'll have to straighten things up my um, dresser is covered with jewelry the walls and then uh, I have a bookshelf next to it and it's covered with jewelry okay these are some stretchy rings that I have they're just let's see I have a box of 50 of these my mom bought them for me they say Oklahoma State uh, yeah, they're all Oklahoma State. They've got little rhinestones around them. So, but I'm just, and this is just a try me out. This isn't a, what do you think? It would make a really pretty ring, wouldn't it? It'd make a gorgeous ring. Huh? would make a really really pretty ring I like that so I uh, I took I, I took clay some clay and just stuck it in there now let's get all the clay off of my ring let's get all the that's my floral clay <laughs> I, I have I keep floral clay because I do every year I do a design I do a floor floral Designed for my son's grave. So. Anyway, there we go. I got all the. Wanted to make sure I got all the clay out of the back of that. I didn't want no clay in it. So, yeah. So I have some that that would make a beautiful ring. It really would. So, but then, but there's two of them, so I could keep one and get rid of the other one. So, but. More than likely, those are just going to lay there for a while, and I'm going to look at them and say, aren't they so pretty? So I, one of the things I've done with these is I took some of them, and I painted the middle of them with enamel fingernail polish, and uh, um, I didn't like how it turned out. So I have 50 of these silly things, and I took some of them over to one of my flea market booths because it's over on the Oklahoma line. I can't even sell them over there. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe I should put them on. Maybe I should put them on uh, eBay and see if I can sell them. But that box probably weighs five pounds with 50 of those in there. So I have managed to collect a lot of things. So, But, guys, I'm going to let you go. semi career a brooch in a ring. Oh, yeah. I'm getting my water in. So, anyway. But, uh, yeah, that would be really pretty. I could make it into a brooch. I have some brooch bats. Yep, I sure could. That would be really pretty. So, 
anyway, so before we go, I'm going to ask you one thing. Um, send me that link. That would be awesome. I would love to see that. Uh, I'm going to ask you to be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Also, be sure to go over to, um, to let's see if I can pop this, pop you a link in, up here. There we go. here and I'm, I'm trying to pop you a link oh that ain't gonna work Cindy that ain't gonna work there if y'all saw how I was doing this you would think I'm crazy so anyway I'm gonna pop this link up here and I'm gonna include it down here but uh, uh, this is bargain box number four and uh, share those links to those bargain boxes I actually created a bargain box uh, um, category in my store under jewelry it says jewelry bargain boxes so i've got four listed share them with anybody that you know that loves jewelry because i put some really neat stuff in it um the prices i think are fair uh the shipping is going to be like 720 because it'll ship out um priority more than likely unless you choose parcel first and parcel post is only like 710 or something like that so might as well go priority so anyway but uh, uh so uh, anybody here? Let's see. Debs, I know Debs has a channel. Nikki's has a channel. Alona, do you have a channel? Do you do YouTube videos? So she may already be gone. Okay, because I like to give you guys shout outs. So I hope that you are getting some viewers and stuff like that. So anyway, so uh, um, I sh I think I shared one of the bargain boxes today as my. Uh, not yet. Okay. So I want to make sure Francis doesn't, Ray doesn't have a channel. Okay. So, oh, Swag Maven, I didn't even see that you were here. Did you leave? Swag Maven was here and I missed her. Um, so that makes me sad. So, okay. I'm going to go. I don't know if anybody else is live today or not. But uh, anyway, have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend. Uh, y'all know what I done this morning? Let me tell you this right quick and we'll go. I went and bought a lady's leftover yard sale stuff. There wasn't a piece of jewelry in it. Oh, there you are. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought, I thought I missed you completely. So I didn't want to miss you. So anyway, I went and bought a lady's leftover, uh, yard sale stuff, paid $15 for it. Easily make my money back in my boots. And so anyway, but yeah, uh, if you later when you come, and look again, you will see I'm doing shout outs for the people that have videos I'm putting in the description, uh, leaving a shout out for y'all. So anyway, I want people to subscribe. If you're not subscribed to Swag Deads or Nikki's World, you need to. And Nikki, you need to make a video. You do, you do, you do. So, okay. I will talk to you guys later. Y'all have an awesome weekend. Be blessed. Be safe. And stay cool. Stay cool. So. Love y'all. Bye.